Three. Well, he has worked for decades to end child abuse, but seen little change. Now, Dr. Richard Krugman is co-founder of a foundation that he hopes can finally make strides in tackling this national problem. He told health specialist Kathy Walsh it's time for victims to become advocates. It's estimated five children die from child abuse in the U.S. every day. Well, the number's been about that for 40 years. We haven't made any progress. That's the sad reality from Dr. Richard Krugman, pediatrician and longtime crusader for children. He was a protege of Dr. Henry Kemp, the first person to recognize the battered child syndrome. Krugman remembers the first fatal case he studied back in 1968. 25 professionals had been in contact with this mother and baby, and there were warning signs of abuse all the way, and everybody ignored them. Krugman calls that gaze aversion. G-A-Z-E, turning away from a problem. And Krugman says it still exists today. There's so much shame and stigma around child abuse that nobody wants to talk about it. But he's trying to change that. 18 months ago, he joined forces with former patient Lori Poland, who in 1983 survived being abducted, sexually abused, and left to die in an abandoned outhouse. If you survived cancer, you're open about it. And can. Their national foundation to end child abuse and neglect urges survivors to speak up. The way we now can about alcohol or breast cancer or eating disorders. Krugman believes research, education, training, prevention, and advocacy are the answer. People say you'll never end it in our lifetime. If we all work together, we can do it. Meanwhile, he's doing all he can to drive his message home. I'm Kathy Walsh covering Colorado First. And can needs donations to accomplish its mission. It is one of the more than 2,500 nonprofits hoping to raise money today through Colorado Gives Day. You can find out more information about Colorado Gives Day on our website, cbsdenver.com.